Ascetic practices are one of the healthiest ways to deal with conflict and tension in life. People who practice asceticism have better self-control, are more likely to let go of grudges and resentments, and more easily practice forgiveness. It helps them improve their relationship with other people and be more respectful to others as well. Asceticism involves sacrificing one's bodily desires and passions for a more noble and holy cause. As King Solomon describes in the book of Proverbs, whoever has no rule over his own spirit is like a city broken down without walls. One of the best ways to practice asceticism is fasting. Fasting can come in a variety of forms from intermittent fasting to abstinence from food and drink to refraining from eating certain types of foods. I have another video that talks about fasting, the medical and spiritual aspects and psychological benefits in more detail. You can refer to that video for more. Uh, for now, as far as ascetic practices goes, there's just a distinction one needs to make between what their physical needs are and what they desire. Just because our mind is wanting to eat a burger such as a Big Mac or does, does not mean we have to give in to that desire or urge to eat the Big Mac. The concept here is that if you have self-control over the mind and body's desires such as for food, sleep, even sex, then you'll have self-control for these aspects can help one to have self-control over their other thoughts and feelings and it helped them through any challenge in life. Mindfulness is a similar principle that may be applicable in this scenario. I have another video talking about mindfulness, but in short, mindfulness is being aware of one's thoughts and feelings and the sensations in their mind and body and allowing them to pass away without giving it too much judgment or too much uh, thought to dwell there. Just see it as like a cloud that's passing through the sky and eventually vanishing away or like an ocean wave that crashes onto the sand uh, of the seashore and vanishes away. One's body and mind does have their needs for food, for drink, for sleep, but many times people consume more than what they need. So there can be a fine line in distinguishing what is needed and what is not. Oftentimes, it's like an exercise that one builds their ascetic muscles over time and they can push themselves into more and more ascetic practices. St. Paul says in his epistle to Galatians, For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish. Giving in to the desires of the flesh makes it more difficult for someone to practice self-control and live in line with other fruits of the Holy Spirit, such as kindness, goodness, joy, peace. Some psychiatric studies do suggest there could be a relationship with having too much control over what one is eating and in suffering from an eating disorder. So again, there needs to be a balance in how one progresses. And oftentimes there can be people that give advice on how to progress in ascetic processes. In conclusion, asceticism is a tool for which one can practice to have control over their thoughts and feelings. It helps people to practice mindfulness and not giving into one's urges or desires. It can also help reveal to them what is important in life and better grant them the ability and self-control in order to obtain it.